Hello YouTube, my name is Nick, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to forward the ports for your Xbox 360 so that you can open up your NAT type. And uh, This will cause you to basically get a better connection in the games that you play uh, via Xbox Live. So first off, you're going to want to go to this site, and um, I'm probably going to give a link for this in the description. Uh, so you go to this site, port portforward.com, and uh, you find your router from these lists, this list here and you click on it and it will give you a fairly detailed description on how to do it um, I'm going to show you how to uh, how I do it and uh, the things you need to do for your Xbox so um, first off before you want to before you forward ports we want to check your connection speed just to make sure that you know you're not getting a bad connection because you have no internet so just check your download um, you should probably want to get at least 3 megabits download and probably uh, half a megabit upload and um, you want your ping to be uh, probably under 20 um, there's also pingtest.net that you can go to if you click that uh, or whatever so um, open up an internet browser uh, whatever you use oh yeah first off um, you have to go to find your local IP address so to do that uh, type CMD and click enter. This is going to open command prompt. Command prompt. Uh, you, then you type in IP config and uh, click enter. And this is going to tell you your local IP address if you don't already know it. Um, so you want to go uh, here. Um, your default gateway. Uh, mine's 192.168.1.1. Yours is probably 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1 lots of numbers and dots uh, so I'm gonna go to that 192.168.1.1 and this will bring me to the um, configuration page for my router if you have a password you will need to find that out and enter it um, so please do that if you have a password for your thing uh, mine knows the password uh, so I'm gonna go to NAT, and uh, you can see here I already have the four, p the four ports needed for Xbox Live forwarded. Uh, those ports are 53, 80, 88, and 3,074. And for the protocol, I put both TCP and UDP. Um, I'm not sure if they need both. I think there's one of them that doesn't, but uh, it doesn't hurt to put both. Um, and basically 53 to 53, and um, the the link that I We'll put in the description uh, will show you how to do this specifically for your router but the important part is uh, the port that you want you want to forward this port for an IP address and uh, the IP address I put in is 192.168.1.151 so you want to pick an IP address obviously if you logged in here if you logged in uh, from 192.168.1.1 if this uh, third digit or third number uh, is a one then you have to have a one here uh, if you logged in from a zero uh, then you need to have a zero here so um, that's just the important thing to know when doing this so now we'll move on to the Xbox once you forward all your ports uh, you want to turn on your Xbox so I'll do that right now alright I got my Xbox on here and um, Let's go in over to system settings uh, is what you want to do. You want to go to network settings, um, select whatever you have, it, whether it's a wired network or a wireless network. And you're going to go to configure network and uh, you want to click um, change it from automatic to manual IP address. Now this has to be the IP address you entered in when you were uh, selecting the port to forward to. Um, so mine was 192.168.1.151 and uh, so you enter that in then click done your subnet mask should be 255.255.255.0 and your gateway will be whatever um, uh, IP address you used to log into your router earlier so um, enter that in and then click done and then um, it's going to disconnect me and reconnect me in a second. Your primary DNS server, your DNS server, um, same thing, whatever you enter to log into your router, uh, enter that in. You don't need a secondary DNS. 
so um, you don't have to enter that in. So um, once that's all set up, you can test your Xbox Live connection. I'm not going to do that because I already know it works. Um, I'm just going to uh, play the Call of Duty Black Ops here um, so that you guys can see an open NAT type. Um, this open NAT type will likely give you a uh, four bar connection almost every game and uh, depending on your internet connection really um, where you live uh, is important too like if you live uh, in an igloo in Alaska all by yourself and there's no one near you you're probably not going to get a good connection but um, if you live in a big city and you have a decent internet connection and you have port forwarded ports then uh, you'll probably have a good connection every game and you're likely to be host every now and then so you can see my not types open and uh, that's all you need to do if you have any questions please leave a comment um, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more and I'll see you guys later hope I could help bye